All right, guys, welcome to a brand new video on phone ops. And yes, yet again, we are talking about MIUI 13.1 system apps update. So the next version of MIUI is going to be known as MIUI 13.1 instead of 13.5. And every now and then Xiaomi keeps updating their apps to, you know, give us a sneak peek into what exactly is happening and what the new version of MIUI exactly or at least what the apps from MIUI 13.1 will look like. So in today's video, I'm going to show you all the apps that have been updated, what are the new features that have been added and how you can install and uninstall them. So stay tuned till the end of the video because it's going to be very, very exciting. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so first things first, let's actually go to the file manager here. This of course is a new file manager and uh, there is one old file manager as well. So this is the new one and the one that we were looking at is the old one. So first let's go to this particular folder called MIUI 13.1. Now these many applications are the ones which are updated. And a word of caution over here, I would highly recommend you to not try any of these APKs on Android 11 because they have been designed and tested on Android 11 based updates. So MIUI 12.5 or MIUI 13, preferably MIUI 13, make sure you're on Android 12. And if you try it on 11, make sure you have a backup and try it at your own risk. Now these APKs here are a combination of your global updates and China ROM updates. So some APKs are pulled from the latest China ROM and some of them can be seen if you go to settings and you know you go to system apps updater you can find those updates over here. As you can see these updates keep coming every now and then so it's always a good thing if you have a Xiaomi device or a Poco or a Redmi device to go ahead and check system app updates. Now the first thing that we have here is system service plugin, then we also have security update, calculator update, file manager update, the MIUI launcher has been updated, notifications has a sort of a new user interface, recorder has a lot of bug fixes, and system service plugin gives you access to the new animation of the game space or game turbo. Now, apart from this, themes update is something I recently showed you in the Dynamic Island video and Xiaomi account beta has a new preview as well. Now, some of these APKs are not really working on the global ROM because right now we are on the Redmi Note 10 Pro running the latest MIUI 13.0.5 stable. So I have installed all of these APKs, but just let me quickly show you how to actually go ahead and install it. For example, this is a MIUI launcher alpha over here. So let's go ahead and click on it. You just need to click on update and that's done. Now you don't need to have an unlocked bootloader or root access to get this done. So there's not much you need to worry about. As well as towards the end of the video, I will show you how to exactly go ahead and uninstall these updates as well. So when we first talk about the changes, now notifications has a new UI, which is going to look something different. Unfortunately, we don't really have a preview or a screenshot, but as you can see this lock screen, floating notifications, badges, these labels will be moved at the bottom. Not a big change, very, very minor change, but yes, it is there nonetheless. Now, the major change that you will see is in the file manager. Now you did notice that we have two file managers over here. The one on the right, of course, is the old one. And in my opinion, if you compare the old one uh, to the new one, the old one looks a little more cluttered and uh, old fashioned sort of. And this one is also the global file manager. So it doesn't really get a lot of new features. It just keeps getting uh, bug fixes and stuff like that. Now, this is the latest China ROM file manager. Okay. The moment you go to the home screen, you will see that this new UI looks much more modern. The icons look much better. The animations and you see this refresh animation over here. These are very, very subtle and very, very nice. Towards the left, you have recent wherein you have access to all the recent apps that you have utilized. So that is a good thing as well. At the same time, if you open uh, any folder for that matter, let's go to download, say, you will see that there is this highlight over here in a different color, which, you know, brings to your attention that you are in this particular folder. And if you long press on any app or any APK or any icon or whatever data you have in there, the moment you click on more, you will have this option of add to widget. Now, what I've done here is we've added that to the widget. So let's actually go to widgets over here and let's look for the file manager widget here it is so let's go ahead and add this now it says tap to add files so you can add images over here as per your convenience 
You can also go ahead and add APKs over here. If you, for whatever reason, want to have an APK shortcut, you can also select a music file to be present, which can directly be played from the widget. So all sorts of files can be added from here. And the animation to open these files is really, really beautiful. As you can see, it just opens with a very, very nice animation. And this is what I feel is going to come in MIUI 13.1 or MIUI 14, because these major animation changes directly hint towards a system-wide animation change, and it looks smooth and beautiful for now. Now, moving on, the next app that we are going to talk about is the Sound Recorder. Now, if you regularly watch videos on phone ops, you would notice that recently I did mention that this recorder now has a new user interface. The UI is still the same, but they've made a lot of, you know, smoothness changes and a lot of bug fixes. If you go to settings, you will notice that you can then go ahead and sync your recordings to the cloud, which will make sure that you don't lose any of your recordings. So that here is a neat addition to the recorder. However, one of the major changes that you would notice will be to the calculator application. Now, as you can see, this is a new UI over here. Even if you look at these buttons, they are more sort of a tabbed format over here. So this is a new, UI that they have added to the calculator and if you open any particular sub menu you will see that these animations are much more smooth and if you open a centered uh, icon over here the animation comes from the center from the right right and from the left left so a lot of changes made to the calculator which makes the usage very very smooth and uh, enhanced experience is there now as i said if you update the system ui plugin you will get access to the new game turbo animation a lot of devices were getting the old animation like this but if you update the system ui plugin you will get the new game turbo animation at the same time if we talk about the version of security it is now 7.0.4 these are just bug fixes there are no major changes that have been made to the system ui plugin or security and if you actually go to battery i did mention this in my previous video as well the battery temperature is now displayed in celsius or fahrenheit instead of warm cool hot so that is a good thing it's been a while that you've been getting this performance mode so nothing new there but the main changes you will see are there in the system launcher. Of course, this is an alpha launcher. It will work for Xiaomi and Redmi devices, but for Poco, you will have to use the Poco launcher. Now, if you go to settings over here, you do get a new option of remove text from widgets. If you go to more, you will see that that option over here is known as don't show text. The moment you enable this, remove text from widgets becomes grayed out because it's logical, right? And if you go to home screen, you do get this preview of the home screen type that you're going to use with a very nice animation. So that's neat. But one thing that is a small bug or probably missing in this particular alpha launcher update is the, the option to select your default launcher. Now that for some reason is missing. But apart from that, the animations are much, much smoother. The app icon animations are there and they work very, very cohesively. So all in all, system launcher update is also doing a really, really great job there. Now themes has been updated as well, but for themes as well, we don't really have a lot of changes. It's majorly a bug fix update and it does work well. Now you did see this new theme version in our dynamic island video. So all in all, these MIUI 13.1 apps are adding up to the experience and MIUI 13.1 is shaping up to be a smooth and a better looking update altogether. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this video? Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.